I'm going to be showing you the Valley Forge National Park. This park is amazing. It holds a lot of historic events that took place in history. You're about to find out the history if you're interested in. Stick around to the end of the video. We're all together going to discover what this park has to offer. Alright guys, I'm standing right in front of this cannon, which is a gun, right? This proves how far humanity has come. Back in history, wars were fought with these type of weaponry system that they had. In those days, if you had weapon systems like these, you basically were stronger. But this is amazing because the humanity has proven over hundreds of years of evolution, we have been able to develop much more advanced weaponry system that we use in today's warfare. Now that I'm here advocating for wars because I'm totally 100% against wars, but that just proved the technology that we have in today's modern world are not the same ones that we had back in history. So believe it or not, Washington, George Washington and all these other guys that fought for the freedom of this country, these are exactly the weapon system that they had access to and they used it. You see, I'm standing right in front of this dome over here. This is a Continental Army, and I can't believe this was in Valley Forge, December 19, 1777, June 18, 1778. So this is how far back this goes, and I'm gonna walk you towards ride around and see behind what the military uh, have done and the strategies used to actually orchestrate their attacks. It says we can't climb on fort or spikes, but I got a, another good idea to show you what's inside this thing since we're not allowed to climb the spikes. And the best way to do it is flying a drone. Actually, that was before I walked around the other side of the bunker. I think that's what it was. It was a bunker. Anyway, and I saw this. There's actually an entrance, so we don't even have to fly a drone to show you what's in there. So check this out. All right, guys, so let's go. We're gonna enter. All right guys, this site is called the Redoubts. The Redoubts is a fortification that soldiers built to protect themselves from the attack or to have a tactical advantage on the enemies. Therefore, they built this from the ground up. How impressive this was. Soldiers back then, like I said, they didn't really have the technologies that we have today. They've had to do things unimaginably almost impossible but for the sake of defending the country you had to come up with things even not being able to go to engineering school or architectural school to be at anything they had to do these things so how amazing was that that was brave and those soldiers deserve much respect so i'm going to take you around so you can see what all this was about
All right, here I'm inside one of these huts. Now, this particular place here with all these huts that you see used to be called refuge for the winter. Okay, this place, it was built to help soldiers to stay warm during winter time. As you all know, back then they did not have the heating system that we use in our homes today. So this was one of the ways that they kept themselves warm because you know when winter time came, you needed people to have a much more comfortable accommodations to help them, especially when you're dealing with the army, people that are fighting for the country, that are fighting the enemies to maintain the territorial integrity of the country, you want to make sure you put them in better conditions. So the best they could do is by building these huts and the history surrounding this park, it's so amazing and it's eye-opening. Yo guys, I can't stress how big this park is. This is probably one of the biggest park I've ever been to before. I do not know why I think this. This can be a little funny and silly, but I feel as though most of these people in ancient times and every time they got the statues, they all look the same. Their haircut, their, their hairstyle, everything looks the same. So this guy's on the picture has nothing. Like, to me, it looks like George Washington, but this is not George Washington, but please tell me if these pictures or the statues on the wall does not look like George Washington. I've noticed this thing and I've always wanted to talk about it, but I find this is a perfect opportunity to kind of mention it. If you feel the same way, please let me know in the comment section down below. By the way, these two guys were a brigade general, so they were in commander of the army. So these guys were one of the top generals in the army, especially in the Valley Forge division here where everything that I've shown you, these guys were like ahead of this place. They ran this place basically. So that's why I found it important to show you what they look like and these statues were dedicated to them to the hard work that they've put in so yeah as powerful as the British army has once been during the colonization of the United States of America, the American army at the time being able to stand up for themselves and actually decide their fate, whether they were going to stay slave in the hands of the British or they were going to liberate the country uh, for the future of their children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. That level of bravery is now documented in history. How do you have access to that? Well, the Valley Forge National Park in Pennsylvania actually tell you all of that. If you live in Pennsylvania, in neighboring areas, neighboring uh, cities, this place, and if you care about the United States history that much, I would highly recommend coming to this place. Alright guys, it looks creepy in here, but 
I had to film it for the purpose of this video to educate some of you that are that may have questions about this place. I'm not sure what this particular room was used for, but this hut looks pretty much, it looks almost like they had shelves here. You see, these are the shelves. I'm not sure what they used it for. Um, whether it was to stock food or other commodities that necessary that was needed at a time when all of those you know, was taking place. Uh, you see, there's more shelves in here, you know, all the way to the bottom. Uh, let's take a look over here. There's more, you know, the top floor, you got the second one and then the third one on the bottom down there. Now, I'm not really sure what this were used for, but the fact that it exists here, it really shows uh, how, the fact that it exists here, it just shows the creativity spirit, you know, that drove these people to build this place to keep themselves warm during winter time. So I'm only, I can only imagine living in a time where technology was not available to many people at the time and you still had to somehow come up with a way to keep yourself warm during this cold season and one thing again so you see these woods here this is their chimney this is basically what they have used to warm this place up. So they will set the woods on fire and the fire literally comes, shoots from down here, up, up wine, upwards, and outside the, uh, the huts. So, yes. All right, guys, that's gonna bring this video to the end. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like the video. Also like the video for the YouTube algorithm. And remember to turn on the bell icon so when I drop a video, you get notified. And I hope you like this video so far. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Peace.